To make your audio sound professional, using a noise gate can remove distracting noise, like breaths, mouth noises, pops and clicks along the noise floor of your audio. The free plugin, Rear Gate, by Reaper is a wonderful noise gate plugin to remove unwanted noises along the noise floor. In this tutorial, the plugin, Rear Gate, will be used with Audacity, Audio Editor, version 3.0.2. The plugin, Rear Gate, should work with many audio editors that accept VST plugins. The plugin Rear Gate can be downloaded from the URL shown on this screen. Rear Gate offers many settings to adjust how Noise Gate performs. This is a sample audio file opened in Audacity, which I will play by clicking on the play button. What day is it? Ask Pooh. It's today, squeaked Piglet. My favorite day, said Pooh. A. A. Mill, author of the stories about Winnie the Pooh. Right now, the waveforms are in linear view. To be able to view the noise floor better, you right-click on this vertical scale and select dB. Now you can clearly see the noise, such as breaths, etc. in the noise floor. This tutorial will demonstrate noise gate settings that you might consider using for audio for your audio in podcast, voiceovers, as well as dialogue audio in your video. To open rear gate, click on effect, VST, and rear gate. First, make sure that rear gate is set to default settings by clicking here, choosing factory presets, then selecting defaults. Next, change IMS size, from 0 to 1, which allows for smoother gate openings for small noise spikes that might be in the noise floor. Now, locate a noise that represents the highest level noise you want removed along the noise floor, such as a loud breathing noise, and select that noise. Then on your keyboard, press Shift and Spacebar to continuously play the noise. Loud noises louder than the spoken words should not be selected, as you don't want to noise gate parts of words, but only parts of the noise floor that you do not want to be heard. Raise the threshold slide bar slightly higher than the point required to remove the noise from showing in the meter. Then, click on the stop button to stop the selected audio from looping. You'll see the dry slide bar by default is set to infinity. Setting the dry slide bar to infinity will result in a zero noise floor. Next, to test this setting to make sure that noise gate only removes the noise floor and does not remove part of the words, locate a section in the audio file where you will be able to view both the beginning and end of a word or words having a shorter waveform close to the noise floor at the beginning of the word, and a shorter waveform, close to the noise floor, at the end of the word or words. This looks like a great selection of words where I can clearly see not only the beginning of words, but also see the ending of words. To be able to make sure that our threshold setting does not also remove parts of the beginning and ending of words. When I play this selection, I find I have selected the word author. Author. Not only should you just look at the waveforms to determine that the beginning and ending of words are not cut off when applying noise gate, but you should also listen to the audio to make sure it sounds correctly after applying noise gate. Fortunately, Raygate has adjustments you can make to allow noise gate to not remove portions of words at the beginning and end of words. You adjust the release and or 
Hold slide bars to avoid noise gate from noise gating a portion of the end of the word. The release determines the speed at which the gate opens and closes. And hold will hold the gate open for so many milliseconds prior to the gate closing. Using the release. And. Or. Hold will keep the end of the words from getting cut off by noise gate. If necessary, you can also adjust the release slide bar in combination with the hold slide bar. And to keep the beginning of words from getting cut off by noise gate, you adjust the pre-open slide bar to open the gate back up a few milliseconds earlier. The pre-open preset default is at zero milliseconds. Suggest you try setting the preset default of 0 milliseconds to 5 milliseconds and raise this number until the beginning of words are not cut off by noise gate. OK, let's apply our noise gate threshold setting to only the portion of audio we have selected, which is the word author. And after applying noise gate, Examine both the beginning and end of the words to make sure that the beginning and ending of words are not cut off when applying noise gate. Now, I will click on apply. You'll see that this word author has both the beginning and the end of the word cut off by noise gate. Now I will click on edit, undo and you will see the beginning and ending of the audio file are back. And when I click on edit, redo, you will see the beginning and ending of this word author have been removed. Now I will click on edit, undo. To keep the end of the audio file from being cut off, adjust the release. And, or, hold slide bars to keep the end of the words from getting cut off by noise gate. I find that adjusting the hold slide bar will usually correct the end of the word from being cut off without also having to adjust the release slide bar. Now, I will adjust the hold slide bar to 50 milliseconds and apply noise gate once more by clicking on apply. I still see that part of the end of the word is cut off. So I will first undo noise gate by clicking on edit, undo, and then raise the hold slide bar to 60 milliseconds and click on apply. I still see that part of the end of the word is cut off. So I will undo noise gate and raise the hold slide bar to 70 milliseconds and click on apply. I still see that part of the end of the word is cut off. So I will undo noise gate and raise the hold slide bar to 80 milliseconds and click on apply. Now the end of the word is not being cut off. So I will click on edit, undo. Now let's adjust the pre-open slide slide bar to keep the beginning of the word from getting cut off. Let's first start out at five milliseconds and click on apply. You'll see that there is still part of the beginning of the word being cut off. So let's click on edit, undo. And enter a setting of 10 milliseconds. And click on apply. You'll see that there is still part of the beginning of the word being cut off. 
So let's click on Edit, Undo. And enter a setting of 20 milliseconds. And click on Apply. And now you will see that none of the beginning of the word is being cut off. So let's click on Undo. When viewing the audio wave file, it is clear, by viewing the audio waves, that the beginning and ending of the word was cut off once noise gate was applied. Assuming that similar results will happen to all other words in the audio, we will apply these settings to the entire file. And after applying these settings to the entire audio file, if you want to, you can review the entire audio file to make sure that the beginning and end of words are not being cut off by noise gate. Now, apply settings by selecting entire audio, clicking on select all. and then click on apply. Let's see what the noise floor level is. To get a precise noise floor level, you would first want to normalize audio to zero, but for our purpose, this will give us a close enough noise floor reading without first normalizing to zero. To get a noise floor reading, first select a portion of audio along the noise floor, where you want to get a noise floor reading, and select analyze, Contrast, then click on Measure Selection, and you will see that the noise floor reading is zero. However, this setting, providing a zero noise floor, may allow the gate to cut off too sharply, making the quick shutting of the gate noticeable in your audio, and also, you might not want a zero noise floor. If you do not want a zero noise floor, undo this change by selecting Edit, Undo and do the following, to get a noise gate reading louder than zero. Again, locate the same noise, selected earlier, that represents the highest level noise you want removed along the noise floor, such as a loud breathing noise, and select that noise. Then on your keyboard, press Shift and Spacebar to continuously play the noise. Leave the threshold slide bar in the same setting we previously changed and drag the dry slide bar up until you see a little noise in the meter. Then drag the slide bar back down until no noise shows in the meter. And select all audio by clicking on select all. and then click on apply. Now to get another noise floor reading, first select a portion of audio along the noise floor where you want to get a noise floor reading. Then choose analyze, contrast, then click on measure selection. and you will see that the noise floor reading is no longer zero, but is minus 88.76 dB. To get a precise noise floor level, you would first want to normalize audio to zero, but for our purpose, this will give us a close enough noise floor reading without first normalizing to zero. Your noise floor should be quieter than minus 65 dB, and many prefer not to have a zero noise floor, with minus 75 dB being a good noise floor target. Any noise floor below minus 65 dB is suitable, even zero noise floor, you may find suitable. If you want to, you can adjust the dry slide bar until you get the noise floor level you want. However, to prevent possible sharp cutoffs of the noise gate being an issue, then leave some noise in the noise floor that is anywhere below minus 65 dB. This is one of the many ways you can use rear gate to remove unwanted noises from your audio. Thanks for watching.
please check out our website, opportuno.org, for more items that may be of interest to you. Thank you.